Have you ever felt broken, like a puzzle with missing pieces? In this vast existence, we have all experienced moments of struggle, moments where we feel fractured like a mirror reflecting a distorted image. The notion of brokenness is universal, cutting across lines of culture, race, gender and age. It's a common thread that weaves us together in shared humanity, a poignant reminder of our vulnerability and our resilience. Each of us has a story etched in the lines of our faces, in the depths of our eyes, a story of triumph and defeat, joy and sorrow. And in these narratives, we often encounter episodes of brokenness, of feeling lost or incomplete. Yet, remember, you are not alone. Your story is a part of the grand tapestry of life, a testament to the human spirit's indomitable will. But what if we told you there's a silver lining to your struggles, a path to redemption? Consider the biblical character of Job, a man who knew brokenness intimately. In the ancient land of Uz, there lived a man named Job. Job was not an ordinary man. He was the epitome of righteousness and piety, blessed with immense wealth and a loving family. But as the tale unfolds, Job's life takes a tragic turn. He loses everything he holds dear, his children, his wealth and his health. Stripped of his prosperity and plagued with painful sores, Job's life becomes a mirror of human suffering and brokenness. Yet even when faced with such profound loss and pain, Job does not waver in his faith. He does not curse his fate or his God. Instead, Job clings to his belief, holding on to an unyielding faith that is as resilient as the human spirit itself. He questions, yes, but never forsakes. His lamentations echo with raw human pain, yet they are also filled with an unshakable trust in divine wisdom. And in this steadfast faith, we begin to see the first glimmers of redemption. For it is through his unwavering belief that Job finds the strength to endure his trials. His faith, tested and purified in the crucible of suffering, becomes his guiding light in the darkest of times. As the narrative progresses, we witness a divine discourse where Job's loyalty is rewarded and his fortunes are restored. His wealth doubles and he is blessed with ten more children. Job's story culminates with him living out his days in peace and prosperity, his faith rewarded, his brokenness healed. This tale, etched in the annals of biblical lore, is not just a testament to Job's resilience but also a beacon of hope for all of us. It serves as a poignant reminder that even in our deepest despair, faith can be an unwavering beacon, a guiding light that leads us towards redemption. And so, Job's story teaches us that even in our darkest hours, faith can light the way to redemption. Let's journey next to a tale of a wayward son, a story of loss and return, and profound redemption. This is the tale of the prodigal son, a story that lives in the heart of the Bible and paints a vivid picture of forgiveness and redemption. Once upon a time, there was a son who, eager to explore the world and taste the thrill of independence, demanded his share of his father's wealth. He packed his bags and set off, leaving behind the warmth and comfort of his home. In his quest for freedom, the young man squandered his inheritance on frivolous pursuits. He lived for the moment, oblivious to the consequences of his actions. But as the money dwindled, so did his fair-weather friends. Eventually, he found himself alone and destitute, reduced to feeding pigs to earn a meager living. In this pit of despair, he remembered his father's house, where even the servants had more than enough to eat. He realized the magnitude of his folly and decided to return home, prepared to beg for forgiveness and work as a servant. But the story takes a turn that is as unexpected as it is heartwarming. As he approached his home, his father saw him from a distance. Instead of anger or disappointment, his father felt only joy. He ran towards his son, embracing him with open arms, his heart filled with relief and happiness. He didn't see a reckless spendthrift, he saw his beloved son. He didn't demand an explanation, he offered forgiveness. He didn't assign him the role of a servant, he reinstated him as his son. A grand feast was prepared, not to celebrate the return of a prodigal son, but the resurrection of a lost soul. This story, dear friends, is a testament to the power of love, forgiveness and acceptance. It's a reminder that we all have the capacity to stray to make mistakes and to lose our way. But it also assures us that redemption is within our reach when we acknowledge our mistakes and seek forgiveness. 
In the arms of forgiveness, the prodigal son found redemption, a reminder that no matter how far we stray, we can always return home. Mary Magdalene, a woman scorned and dismissed, yet she found redemption in the most unexpected place. Let us journey back to a time when Mary Magdalene was known, not for her piety, but for her alleged sins. She was a woman marginalized by society, judged harshly for her lifestyle, and branded a sinner. It seemed she was destined to live in the shadows, shunned and ostracized. But, as we'll see, redemption often emerges from the most unexpected places. Enter Jesus of Nazareth. He saw Mary not just for who she was, but for who she could be. In his eyes, she was not a sinner to be shamed, but a human being deserving of compassion and understanding. This encounter sparked a transformation within Mary that would change the course of her life forever. From that point forward, Mary Magdalene chose to follow Jesus, to learn from his teachings, and to embrace a different path. She became a faithful disciple, standing by Jesus during his crucifixion when many others had fled. And in a testament to her transformation, it was Mary Magdalene who was chosen to witness one of the most significant events in biblical history, the resurrection of Jesus. Mary's redemption was not a simple overnight change, but a journey of introspection, growth, and a conscious choice to turn away from her past and towards a path of righteousness. It was a journey that was undoubtedly filled with challenges and moments of self-doubt, but also with profound faith and hope. Her transformation from an outcast to a beloved disciple is a powerful testament to the transformative power of redemption. It serves as a reminder that regardless of our past, we have the capacity to change, to grow, and to choose a different path. Mary Magdalene's story is not just a tale from ancient times. It's a timeless narrative of hope, redemption, and the power of change that resonates with us even today. It speaks to the potential within each of us to rise above our past, to redefine ourselves, and to forge a new identity rooted in compassion, love, and understanding. Mary Magdalene's story reminds us that redemption is not just about our past, but about who we choose to become. These stories aren't merely tales from a distant time, they are narratives of hope and redemption that still resonate today. Imagine, if you will, the threads of these narratives weaving into the fabric of our modern lives. The struggles of Job, the return of the prodigal son, and the transformation of Mary Magdalene. These aren't just characters in a book. They are reflections of our own journeys, mirrors held up to our own experiences. They embody the universal human experience of brokenness and the power of redemption. In the face of challenges, we can look to the faith of Job. He endured unimaginable hardship and yet he never wavered in his belief. His story teaches us that faith can be a sanctuary in the storm, a beacon of light in the darkest of nights. It tells us that even when everything seems lost, faith can guide us through. Then there's the prodigal son who strayed far from home, squandering his inheritance on a life of indulgence. Yet when he returned, he was embraced with open arms. His story is a testament to the transformative power of forgiveness, to the healing that can occur when one acknowledges their mistakes and seeks to make amends. And Mary Magdalene, a woman who was redeemed from a life of sin and despair, reminds us that transformation is possible, that no matter how far we've fallen, there's always the chance for a fresh start, a new beginning. Her story tells us that redemption isn't just for the saints, but for every single one of us. These stories, these lessons, they're not relegated to the pages of a millennia-old book. They are alive and relevant in our daily struggles. They are reminders that in the midst of our own brokenness, we too can find redemption. In the face of brokenness, remember that redemption is not just a biblical concept, but a personal journey. You are never too far gone, too broken or too lost for redemption. In our brokenness, we often feel lost. But these stories remind us that redemption is possible. In the quiet echoes of our heart struggle, we've traced the journey of Job, felt the anguish and joy of the prodigal son, and witnessed the transformation of Mary Magdalene. Each narrative a testament to the power of redemption, a beacon of hope in the shadows of despair. Remember, the beauty of redemption is not found in the absence of brokenness, but in the midst of it. It's about rising from the ashes. It's about the dawn breaking after the darkest night. It's about finding strength in vulnerability, wisdom in trials, and grace in our shortcomings. So, 
Let these stories inspire you. Let them remind you that even in the midst of your brokenness, there's a promise of restoration and renewal. In the end, it's not about the broken pieces, but how they're put back together. So in your brokenness, find hope, find redemption.